So obviously this is mostly an elf deck we've come to know and expect in Legacy. Like a lot of the cards are very similar. Mm -hmm. Small difference. But some small differences for sure. LSV and Madness are both like elf masters obviously with a Pro Tour and a Grand Prix between them. So let's go over the differences starting with the little one two that could, Deathrite Shaman. He's not the little one two that could. We set Every time a new set comes out and there's a one drop with three abilities, it's going to be a staple in every format. <laughs> like he says, two months later. <laughs> yeah. Sir, I have been saying know, that for I a know, long time. Yeah, this was in fact on Above the Curve, I believe, where the we had a, a showdown over Deathrite Shaman. So it was our pilot that didn't see air. If but we were uh, keeping points, I think we would have to notch you at least half of one for the, pi for the pilot. <laughs> half of one? Well, it didn't air, so how many can we really give? Yeah, that's fair. I don't know, all of them? Yeah. All right, well, uh, obviously, Deathrite Shaman adds a little bit to the elf deck. What do you think it's bringing to the table? Uh, three abilities on turn one. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's a mana source. It can disrupt a lot of different decks, and it's just another elf to play in the early turns that matter. I think that's one of the biggest keys that the deck needs is just more good creatures, like not having bad draws. And it can have a big effect on the game when you're not doing anything you know, spectacular. It can sure. Eat, eat nimble mongooses, like to make sure that they're low. It can make sure Tarmo goes so low. Gives the deck extra time to find the combo pieces. A lot of decks don't have a lot uh, enough disruption. They can they can deal with the first seven eight cards, but not the the first twelve or thirteen that the deck provides or the draw steps provide. Okay. So I definitely like how how it can prolong the game. Um, another of the big additions, I think, is Natural Order, which hasn't seen a lot of play in the Elf style of decks. Uh, the Natural Orders allow you to fetch out either Critter of Behemoth and just kill them on the spot if you have enough guys in play without Summoning Sickness, but the ability to go get Regal Force uh, earlier in the game so that you don't have to have eight mana to Green Sun Zenith mm -hmm. for it. Uh, and you can just immediately draw like five cards or six cards and then that lets you hit Glimpse into just chaining out the rest of your elves. Uh, the Progenitus in the sideboard gives you a little more range against decks that have a ton of removal like Jund, like Bug. Uh, Liliana being the only card that is really tough uh, for you to beat if they can kill all of your other guys. But uh, Progenitus with Natural Order, definitely a huge upgrade, I think, for the deck. Yeah, I think Elves is, uh, Elves is obviously pretty good at keeping the Progenitus protected. It's got so many little guys that it can feed to these Edict effects. So I think we're going to see a real uptick in Parish effects probably, probably. after this yeah. weekend. So uh, Elves, not as good a deck next week as it was this week, but still... <laughs>